In Chapter 25 of this Revelation Iron Man, we finally get to play the legendary elevator map, which is the pinnacle of all those stupid fucking transportation gimmicks that are so common in Revelation. The opening cutscene features Gunter attempting to sow Discord by nearly killing Corrin and blaming it on a traitor instead of actually just killing her. Suddenly, the hooded figure from Chapter 5 appears, and surprise surprise, it's Sumeragi the former Hoshiden king who is now evil under the control of a nuncos and holding the evil bomb sword that he used to kill his wife. The objective of this chapter is to run all over the place and activate three dragon veins to reach the boss. While this elevator map is possibly one of the more tedious variations of the transportation map gimmick, this map actually poses a significant challenge because the enemies are now very strong, and you'll be ambushed at choke points when trying to leave the elevator. The elevator also doesn't move if someone's occupying the door, so you can't really use it to run away. Way. I am forced to use my weaker units as bait to protect my more useful characters, and this proves to be one of the bloodiest chapters yet. As I go towards the bottom dragon vein, I sacrifice Caden as bait to protect my other units, and Azama suffers a similar fate. I get swarmed by reinforcements as I go over the upper dragon vein, and Azura narrowly avoids death with a coin flip dodge. Immediately after, however, Fugo, who I recruited off screen, is killed. As I approach the final room to defeat Sumeragi, I push in with Maruka as tactical ablative armor to divert one enemy attack, but at the same time, Shura is one shot by an enemy sniper. Sumeragi attacks Ryoba and triggers Astra, but the Lobster Lord narrowly avoids death when his father misses twice and triggers one shield gauge. Ryoma dodges death again when an enemy Great Monk attacks and misses. Having successfully not been punished for my needlessly reckless play, I attack Sumeragi with Jacob and kill him with Azura. Korn and the Hoshido Royals then cradle Sumeragi in their arms as an uncle's control fades for his final moments, allowing for a brief heartfelt conversation where Sumeragi comments on how much everyone has grown and how proud of them he is before he dissolves into bubbles. Korin also discovers that she is not biologically related to any of the Hoshida siblings, which has more significance for hypothetical incest jokes in the actual story. 